Welcome back to Teshkid Effects for another quant price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the short term and the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing my analysis on the additive structures and the Fibonacci and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart by giving you a brief of what has been happening. Quant from the all time high started this massive ABC corrective structure which took us back to around the $40.1 mark and after making our low at around the $40.1 mark we started a very nice bounce to the upside which had been obeying the editor structures and that is better seen here on the 4 hour chart where you can see how this editor structure in blue having the wave 5 making its peak at around the $229 mark and also completing the formation of that higher editor of count 1 to the upside meaning this editor structure that I have right here in blue is a fractal wave within the formation of that higher editor of count 1 to the upside and after seeing the formation of a higher editor of count 1 whatever we expect next is a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of a higher higher edit wave count two and that is my primary scenario and once you see the law for that higher edit wave count two then we can expect an impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of a higher edit wave count three and getting into the chart patterns that we have information here on the four hour chart so that we can get the short term scenarios here on the four hour chart you can see I had the formation of this bear flag that was giving me a minimum target area back to around the 92.1 dollar mark which is a target area that we have not fully maximized but you can see we have started that breakout to the lower side out of this bear flag that is right here which is a trend continuation pattern and in that movement we had lost a key area of support at around the 110.9 dollar mark even so a retest made our low at around the 102 dollar mark before we started this bounce to the upside and getting back to the one hour chart for further analysis here on the four hour chart we also have chart patterns that are in formation that are supporting that movement to the lower side and because we're in the formation of a second wave which is a corrective wave and because of its corrective nature we also expect to see an ABC corrective structure where we can have these as the wave A then we have seen the wave B then we have continued pushing even low in the formation of these wave C and there are chances that we might not have seen the low for these wave C because assuming the low was in at around the $94.4 mark we expected an impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of these wave 3 but that is not what we are seeing this is much of a consolidation meaning there are chances that we might not have seen the low for this higher editive wave count 2 and we need one more low in the formation of that higher editive wave count 2 and once that happens then we can expect that impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of this higher additive count 3 and in my previous video I had given you a short term bullish movement that I think is playing out right now and I had shown you this chart pattern that was in formation which is a double bottom and you can see it right here and the area at around the $102.1 mark that was the area that was giving us the bottoms and this is a chart pattern that normally breaks to the upper side having the target area of the breakout being given by the height between the neckline and the bottoms and that was giving me a minimum target area back to around the 117 uh, dollar mark which is a target area that we have fully maximized and made our high at around the 118 dollar mark and in that movement we also managed to break above the 20 day MA and also the key area of resistance at around the 110.9 dollar mark and the chance chances that we might see a retest of this key area of support so there are chances that in case we continue pushing a little bit lower lose the 20 day MA there are chances of seeing a retest of this key area of support and in case the retest is in and a success there are chances of continuing to push even higher but having in mind that we need one more low in the formation of that higher edge to have count two and also in the formation of that ABC corrective structure in case the retest is not a success and we lose the key area of support to the lower side there are chances of seeing the retest on the lower side of the the support support line then continue pushing even lower and in that movement I will expect quant to get back to around the $100.3 mark which is our next key area of support and in case we lose that key area of support then that will be so healthy because that will be giving us a new low in the formation of that higher edge to have count two. then from there we can start expecting that impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of that higher edge to have count three. So those are my short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the quant chart. There are chances that uh, we might not continue 
you're pushing uh, higher now that you have seen the shorter the breakout out of the short term scenario that I was expecting right here taking us back to around the 118 dollar mark and very soon we might see that retest and in case the retest is not a success then we might continue heading even lower make our low in the formation of that higher edge to have count two before we see that bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edge to have count three and also taking a look at the indicators here on the one hour RSI we are trading at around the 64 mark and that is a bit of a retracement to the lower side after seeing after getting into the overbought region and that means we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side and a bit of room for us to support any movements to the upper side also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross meaning lower prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and that's the update for quant and if you like the video make sure that you give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership